Hey, howdy everybody, what's up, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and me and stuff and things. There's a new Oceans Eight Alaska track. They are a band that I sort of listen to on and off. I found them kind of earlier on in my metal journey in the early 2010s, like when I first started listening to metal. And I really loved how weird and chaotic they were. The first song that comes to mind whenever I think Oceans Eight Alaska is Hansha. And I think of that song all the time. And then in the video recommended here, Jake made a video here that says why I love slash hate my old song Hansha. So that's interesting. I might watch that to see why he hates that song. But anyway, I think this is a new vocalist. This is a new um, sort of take on Ocean's in Alaska. I don't know. I don't follow up with the band lore. I don't follow, I follow up. I don't, I don't follow the band lore of Ocean's in Alaska as much as other bands. I haven't listened to them in a long time, actually. So I don't know what their sound is like nowadays. I know they dropped a single a while back. I didn't listen to that either. This is their first single that I'm listening to from them in a long time. So I'm excited to get back into them and get excited for this new album. Whenever this is, I don't think they've announced anything yet, but let's check this out. If you want to uh, get these videos early, which is a thing that I just started doing. Go join my Discord, links in the description. You can check that out while you're there. Go follow me on social media, follow my Twitch. If you're interested in my Patreon, you can get full album reactions and some other stuff there. You can get early access to my podcast. And also, you can join the tier that subscribes you to my, um, what will be a weekly <laughs> uh, music theory series. Right now, I have kind of just put it to the side, but I'm going to start doing those up again and like pick those up again. And it will be a weekly music theory series talking about just the basics of music theory. I'm kind of going through things now. The next episode is going to be about chords. There's two episodes up right now. And then I'm going to try to dig into a little bit more of like specific bands and how they do things like what makes them sound like them and the theory behind it and all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in that you can go subscribe to that tier on my patreon there will be weekly videos on that coming up all right anyway <clears throat> got stuff in my throat oceans in alaska onsra official music video This is very different from Hikari. Okay, it's getting a little more unpredictable. What in the world, bro? I'm going to ruin this chorus for you guys in a second. Just wait. <laughs> 
Fox is in a weird, like, in-between keys as well. Nice. Okay. It was a little more structured, a little more predictable than previous Oceans 8 Alaska stuff than back when I was listening to them. Um, what's the what's the album with the jellyfish in the cover? Let me look this up <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Lost Isles. That one. Yeah, that's the first album that I that I found them with. That album is so good. I listened to that and Hikari and I have not listened to them since Hikari, actually. So I haven't listened to Disparity, which came out in 2022. And it looks like that was their last album. OK, interesting. And then they've had Endless Hollow as another single earlier this year. Just checking up on their discography. OK, weird. Yeah. In the two albums that I've heard from them, Lost Isles and Hikari, it's very weird. It's very unpredictable. There's a ton of switch ups. This was a little more structured. There was that weird breakdown in the middle. But other than that, it had that chorus part. It had more of like a chill verse part. It was more structured. That's not a bad thing. It's just different. I think I think this is a pretty good song. I do think parts of it are a little bit forgettable, just slightly. Maybe on a few listens that'll change, but I think some of it just blends a little bit too much in with other metalcore in the scene. Because um, the, the chorus, actually... You guys recognize this chorus? I told you I'm going to ruin it for you. Do you recognize this? This is the exact chorus of another song. Do you recognize it? about it do you recognize it do you know it what if i play it in this key do you recognize it invent animate anybody yeah it's the exact same chorus as invent animate one of the songs off of heavener i don't know because i haven't listened to that album in a while um, but yeah, it's, it's one of the songs off of Heavener. It's the exact same melody with the, the like some kind of, kind of heaven. I can't play it, apparently. It's the exact same chorus. So sorry if I ruined that for you, but it's note for note, exactly the same Mel melodically and harmonically, at least the first half of it is, but it's in a different key though. And it's in an interesting sort of in between keys parts. You can hear it when I play, um, yeah. Here, listen to this. It's in between keys, and the piano is exactly tuned to the specific intervals, but this is in one of those semi-micro tones in between them, so it sounds a little bit weird when I play piano with it, but... Yeah, it's 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 the same same chorus melody. <laughs> I actually like it better here. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty solid song. I'd be interested to hear if they do more of the chaotic, sort of unpredictable switch up y elements that they've did that that they've did. What am I saying, dude? My brain doesn't work half the time. That they did in Hikari and Lost Isles, but I don't know if that will be the case because it's been what seven years yeah it's been seven years since that album and bands change a lot in seven years i know the vocalist is new i don't know if other members are new but perhaps i'm unsure let me know but that was the last i heard of them was 2017 i didn't listen to anything after hikari but i did listen to that album a lot that's a very good album yeah all right well those are my thoughts on this i'm gonna give this uh seven out of ten it's pretty solid it's a good song like i said i don't think it stands out too much but it's not a song that I hate. It's pretty good. It's still solid. Yeah, I'm excited for the album. All right, well, that's going to do it. If you want to go support me, links in the description. Anything you do is support. Even watching this video right now is supporting me. So thank you, everybody. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>